Do you want us to get yeah, rolling? Yep. Big week for you and the footy club. Uh, you're on the verge of playing your 350th game. Um, no doubt you've got some fond memories, but, but what does it mean to you having uh, played at a club that's history is 160 plus years old uh, and no one's been able to reach the milestone? What, what's it mean to you? I'm actually really not sure how to put it, Hawk. It's um, a couple of weeks ago when Scott Pendlebury made the milestone and um, saw how big the occasion was for him and the Collingwood Footy Club. Uh, made me understand that it was probably going to be bigger than what I thought or appreciate that others will enjoy it too. But yeah, I mean, I've always understood how old the footy club is. Um, I've loved that aspect of it, bagged for the Cats as a kid, um, but never dreamt of um, going on to play this many games. But the journey's been so fun and, uh, and I think that's what's just made it all go so fast and enjoyable. What's uh, the one or two things that um, that is has made it so enjoyable, what has made you so durable to be able to play at such a high level for so long? Uh, there's probably two aspects I reckon, is um, how you look after yourself is one, and in saying that that's you know those lonely hours where you're doing the um, you know the ice baths and the stretching and Pilates and really looking after the body. You know I came in with, and you tell me um, regularly with a wooden knee, um, you know, four operations um, before I was 18, but understood from an early age that you had to look after your body. And then the second one is having good people around you, um, not only just uh, family and Brit and, um, you know, friends, but, you know, within this footy club, like just coming to work, I'm going to say it again, but, you know, it's just so fun. I could count the bad days that I've had uh, in 16 and a half years on one hand. Like, not many people can say that in a workplace. How yeah, good. Um, I want to take you back to your first game. Uh, 2007, round one, was it Telstra Dome? It's a good question. It could have been Telstra Dome. What was it before then? Well, Colonial, but... <laughs> no, but I don't we think did, we, didn't, we didn't see Colonial <laughs> as players. Um, what are your memories of, of the day? A um, bit of an insight into your first game. Yeah, well, it probably started from two weeks out. Uh, we went up to Darwin um, and played a game up there and Matty Stokes um, uh, was suspended for a tackle, I reckon, at that stage. Um, so there was a forward line position that came up for grabs. <laughs> and uh, at that stage, we had uh, him and Shannon Burns um, and Trav Varco hadn't made it into the side um, at that stage, but he was up and coming and they were named the fly forwards. So. Basically, their role was to chase Cam Mooney's man out and <laughs> your man out of the you're very, line. You're very generous. It, w it was actually, it was, it was designed for, uh, around me and my lack of being able to run, keep yeah. going. So that's where it stemmed from. So I got picked on the Wednesday night and Brendan McCartney, I think, was the one that told me I'll be playing and then, um, but you'll be playing in Kenny's forward line. And I was like, oh yeah, beauty. I've done no work <laughs> up until like these first four months that I've been at the footy club, but uh, let's have a go at this. And it, it wasn't uh, the day that I'd wished for. I would have touched the ball eight times. I would have given away five free kicks because I was trying way too hard. Um, but what stemmed of that was this uh, then, and still now is, there's an electric fence on side the 50. So every time I went near <laughs> it, uh, Kenny would zap me to make sure I got out of there. So uh, he a lot, yeah, I mean, I was very grateful for the opportunity, but yeah, never ventured back down into that forward line. Well, well not, not uh, for, a, for a period of time. You've, you've found yourself down there on the weekend a few times and through season 2022, you've been, you've been down there. Are you enjoying um, uh, the versatility that, you, that you're able to provide in our team? Oh, I'm enjoying what the side's doing, um, not relying on any individuals, um, you know, during any week anyone could be the man and yep. th that's what I'm loving about the side at the moment and the rest of the guys are just going out there and controlling what they need to and um, yeah, we're probably going to have one or two standouts but we don't know who it's going to be, um, but when they catch fire, um, you feed them. Favourite game that you've played in or been involved yeah. um, in? Oh, the grand final was obviously amazing. The Kennet Curse games um, were really good to be a part of. The Your goal after Siren, Jimmy's point uh, after Siren. You know, we, we really appreciated 
um, just playing against, you know, such a good side and, um, you know, I think they had as much respect as what we had for them, but the hate was there and um, it still stems now. It's still the side that you want to beat. But what I did learn early days and I still remember it as clear as day, it was close to this room now, but a meeting room in 2007, it was round 12 and it was um, Darren Milburn's 200th game. And we'd sort of done the pre-match with Bomber, um, but then there were six of us that got kept behind and I'm not sure if you were playing this day, but um, Bomber had pumped up Dasher and um, congratulations, you're the 19th Geelong player to play 200th game. And uh, he said in a little bit more colourful language than this, but he said, don't stuff this up. Yeah. And literally just left us with that. So if now um, going into milestone games, that is still front of mind for mine, whether it be a player's first game or, um, you know, those special milestones along the journey. And we've got a few wrong and they're the ones that hurt. But um, yeah, we've, we've definitely got a lot right. Um, and we've got uh, one more thing um, or surprise um, for you um, before, before we wrap this up. Um, obviously some messages um, from some family members and um, you know, you, I'll let you watch them but um, it'd be good to, to touch on them at some point. Tony, congratulations, mate. What an achievement. We are so very proud of you and everything you've done. Who would have thought with those dodgy knees and that heavy breathing that you would have uh, lasted this long. So good luck on the night. We can't wait to celebrate with you. Hi, Joel. Big congratulations on number 350. Simply amazing. We're just so proud and privileged to go and watch you week in and week out. Keep doing what you do, love. You're so good at it. Love you. Uh, my thoughts of Joel for his 350th game uh, is for the person inside the jumper. He sets the standard for the Geelong Football Club, both on and off the field. Joel makes every effort to make time for everyone. He deserves a title to be one of the champions of the Geelong Football Club. Hey Uncle Joel, congratulations on your big 350. Mate, Tommy, Sadie and myself are so proud of you. Uh, go well in your milestone game and for the remainder of the season with the Cats. Hopefully you can finish with a premiership. Wish you all the best. Jolly boy, another milestone. I feel like I was just here yesterday congratulating you on your last milestone. I think it's just a true testament to the person you are and player you are. Um, you've been able to achieve so much in your career. Um, and I know sometimes you feel guilty about Having these milestones and people always sending you in messages of support and congratulations. I'm the person who sees what you do behind the scenes, that you're on your phone till nine o'clock working, making sure everyone around you is okay and everyone at the footy club or sponsors, etc. cetera. Uh, you keep in touch with them all the time and um, it's why you are the person you are. and. Um, as I said, I couldn't be more proud and I cannot wait to be there at your big milestone and celebrate with you and cheer you on for your 350th game. Well done. Family, hey? Yeah. They've been a big part of the journey. Oh, they, they have. I mean, um, mum and dad are unbelievable. Um, Spoken about them a lot over the journey, but um, can't thank them enough what they did for me and the boys um, coming through. Um, Troy, Adam and Scott, uh, good brothers, good teammates when I was at home kicking the footy with them. Um, my wife, um, yeah, she's tough. Like people probably see what I do, but um, she's a tough woman and she's a beautiful woman and um, she doesn't love doing that stuff, so I appreciate her to, to making an effort to do it, and um, and she put a lot of thought, and yeah, that was special. So I'll just say thanks to the Geelong Footy Club as a whole. You know, um, Britt said before, sponsors and members and all that. I actually do love the journey of all of it, um, getting to mix with them and share the journey and bringing them along, not just us boys in here that get to sing the song, but. Um, 
we are lucky that we do get to share it with not only them, but those little Oz kids and stuff like that. Like, um, being fortunate, that's what I would say. It sure is, and I'm going to be a little bit self-indulgent um, uh, because uh, it is your milestone this weekend, but uh, we also are lucky enough to share in a milestone as uh, teammates reaching uh, 300 games together, um, which, uh, which is no, no mean feat, pretty incredible in itself. Um, uh, a, word, a word on that, I mean, from my point of view, we obviously know how much um, we mean to each other and how important each other's been on a journey, but certainly I came into the system with a lot of talent, um, but to have people alongside me like you um, to sort of help me, guide me through my career has been, has been unbelievable. So that, that's something that, that I'm forever grateful of, of having the experience uh, with Joel Selwood. But uh, let, let, let's hear it from your um, point of view, um, 300 games as teammates. 300 is... Uh... I think it'll be one that we look back on and appreciate more when we're obviously done. We're just so in the moment still and um, so hungry for what we do, but wouldn't have been the same without you. I remember the draft at the time um, and thank God for the father-son rules because uh, you wouldn't have been around uh, at pick 41 uh, like you went, but coming to the Cats and having you there um, then, you took a lot of the pressure. You were the, you know, the big kid coming through. Um, you were the plugger locket of the time. <laughs> Not only uh, could you kick the ball so well, but um, the forward craft, and you even had it as a young kid. But yeah, you actually had a bit of a body liking too. <laughs> but it made my job probably a bit easier through that. You know, I could come in, slide into a midfield role. You know, you can find midfielders anywhere, they say. <laughs> Yeah, I count my lucky stars always of um, getting not only to spend all these years with you, but also just building the friendship, um, loving your family, um, spending time with you and Emma and the kids. We just, yeah, it's been a bloody good ride and it's not done yet. And you're right, there's, there's um, you can get midfielders from anywhere, but you just, you, you can't pluck midfielders that, uh, captain, um, aside for so long, um, you're the AFL games record holder for the most um, games as captain. Uh, your CV's as, as long and as good as anyone that's, um, that's ever played the game. Certainly down at the football club, it's, you'll, you'll go down as, as the greatest, in my eyes, the greatest Geelong player to ever play um, for, for the club. You, you've played 349 games and you're certainly not done. So, yeah, you're right. Midfielders, you can, you can find them. You can find them, but you can't find them um, as good as Joel Selwood. So, hey, you're too kind, I'm mate. proud of you, mate. Um, I know it's probably got a little bit uh, soppier than we probably imagined, but um, I think it's in, important for, um, for us to uh, reflect on, on our journey and, and understand, continuously understand how important we are for each other, um, and it also gives everyone else an insight to what makes us good mates. So congratulations, Thank well you, done. Mate. Good work.